Infidelities and relationships. If someone cheats on you, it's not your fault. It's their fault. They, they had a bond with you, a promise with you, and they cheated. That's it. Why is infidelity and all that stuff dangerous? It's fucking dangerous because of the fact of what it does to people. When you are in, you know, when you're in a relationship, you're putting everything on the table for someone. This whole ideology that you got something special. The minute that cheating ensues, you as a cheater now know that subconsciously, emotionally, this person that you're with is not as special. You're not as afraid of them. They're not as on the pedestal anymore. There's someone that you can be with, love, and still sleep with someone else. So the respect level drops. And when the respect level drops, the attachment, the interest sort of drops because they're not as you know, godly anymore to you. So that's the dangerous on that. The other danger uh, on that part is when you are, when the cheating does happen, you know subconsciously in the back of your head that you have opened the door that it is always gonna be possible, that it could happen again. You've opened the door to also say that, well, when there's an issue, it's better to cheat, have a conversation at the bar, drink with someone, flirt, text message, even go as far as to physically hooking up with someone versus fixing what we have. You're giving yourself a scapegoat and you're conditioning yourself that. The other thing that is that whatever you guys build together on that table, whether it's a mortgage, kids, you know, the little doggies, your goals, your dreams and everything, it's dangerous because whoever is not fully riding for you is putting their hands in that in that mix of what you guys are building on the table. They could bring in a stalker. They could bring in STDs. They could bring in bad financial things. They could bring in emotional destruction. That's the dangerous part. It goes farther than that, though. Um, it, it You know, we are human beings and, and our nature says go out there and be possible of everything. But our psychologically... Uh, part of our brain says you can shape and build things that are wonderful, things that are that are in line, the right thing. And when you are cheating and things are going wrong and, and stuff of that nature, fight or flight mode kicks in. And, and you, you start blaming each other. You start seeing what you did wrong with yourself. You start handicapping yourself once infidelity kicks in. Whose fault is it? Why were you not enough? It creates depression, anxiety. It also creates anger. Like you ever see people when they break up, they go to the gym and they're just crazy in the gym. They're like... I'm gonna fucking be the biggest guy that the, the slip. I'm gonna go. You just psychologically click in like fight or flight. You're you're freaking out. So you damage yourself in life by you don't progress with time. Like you're you're like paralyzed. Your limbic system is off. So it, it creates a lot of emotional and physical destructiveness. And it's just not a good thing at all. So my advice to you is this, and this is what it should be. If you get in a relationship, it is a chance to have a unique bond that no one else has. It's a chance to be partners, joint venture partners, lovers, who know that in life, life is going to challenge and change you. They know that you're also going to grow independently. The things you acquire in life are going to change throughout time, your health, everything, your thoughts, your outlook is always going to change. Your sexual energy is going to change. It, you know that going into the bond. But you make a promise that we're going to be friends. We're going to be business partners. We're going to be lover partners. We're going to you know, improve ourselves and challenge each other and continue to date and make love grow. We're going to build an empire together. That is the promise. And I'm going to be loyal. You're going to be loyal. We're not going to taint our holiness here. We're not going to screw it all up. We're going to be together. And, you know, and if we ever feel at a point that we have problems, we're going to sit down, we're going to discuss, we're going to hear that side, this side, and we're going to find a resolution to move forward. And we can get through this because you're not better than me and I'm not better than you. What we have here, our bond is what's better than both of us. The bond is what houses both of us. But if you get to that point where you go, the temptation's there, I can't do this, and blah, 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 and you start leading out, break up. Break up and take a break and get the hell out of there. Don't let yourself ever know that it's possible to break your relationship you know, while you have it. You always want to go, that was the purest thing I've ever had in my life. You want to live for something special. You know, that's why these ideas of God are so special, you know, because it's the most holy, it's the most perfect, it's, it's the nirvana, it's everything that's great. You can't taint that. It's something to look forward to. Same to your relationship. Look forward to something. So that's my advice on why you should not be uh, caught up in infidelity. It's my advice why you should be a better person. Don't think with your body. Your body's going to say you can go anywhere you want to go. This brain right here says think twice, motherfucker. So get on it, guys. Best of luck.